and I remember I created this sound in it one day and it was a kind of bass line sound and it was absolutely phenomenal. Did and I remember, <laughs> I, no, I, no, I remember taking a picture. That's because that's what we had to do. All oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I took a picture of where all the dials were yeah. and I was like, yeah. okay, that's it. I lost the picture. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> In fact, studio, studios were like that. You know, the old studios, they had like photocopies of every piece of rack gear. And it yeah. was like the assistant's job to mark all the knobs on these sort of photocopies. And, <laughs> and you ended up with a file this thick of like, if you wanted to go and reproduce that mix two days yeah. later, you had to pull all this stuff out. But now you just go save on the computer. It's like... Hey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much easier. It's, it's so amazing much easier. Where, where we are with the technology now. It's just sort of like sometimes you have to step back and go like, yeah, it's brilliant. You know, it's so what, what brilliant. You, for, for, for the kids that are out there that are interested in what you're using, Graham, what are you using as far as equipment's concerned these days? Uh, well, mostly it's lo I, I use Logic. Yeah. Um, but I do like to use a lot of out of the box stuff. So I've got our synthesizer collection uh, is mostly from the early 90s and stuff you know we bought it when it was like rock bottom I know it, people are sick of this conversation because like it it doesn't help them but oh. um but if you've got some tasty old analog I'm going to use it over using the plugins but having said that I'm quite comfortable with a lot of the plugins as well so you know so it's a hybrid of everything, you know, I'll, I'll throw anything at it, you know, and, you know, in terms of playing things as well, you know, we, we, we're in Manchester, there's all these musicians, you know, and we like playing and we get together and we do that. And, you know, I might get people in doing, doing stuff, uh, percussionists and drummers and, there's a lot of talent in Manchester as well. I mean, Man Manchester. I think, it's, I think got... it's everywhere. I think. I think the you know young kids now are just so that that they're different as musicians, but they're amazingly talented. But that isn't always the thing that counts. You know, it's yeah. like um, the spirit thing again. You know. I mean, I'm guessing I'm an old punk in a way. You know, we grew up not being able to play our instruments, but that wouldn't stop us. And there's there's a kind of uh, learnt, uh, self-taught thing that can be very valuable. For instance, uh, we we have a group and we play with some of these these amazing sort of young twenty year old people that have come out of music college and they like playing with me and me and my old mates because it's, it's it rubs up against them in a different way you know it it's kind of uh more intuitive and not just about the theory you know so yeah. um we feel really inadequate playing with them but i think it's a nice mix when you can do that i like mixing um you know, age groups and that kind of thing, you know. I think yes. we all learn off each other. You learn the energy mixing is really good.